Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lapfix, and man, we just came back from the Apple event, and we got this really cool, nice, we got uh, pretty much tablet style, a MacBook, never before seen, actually it's a nice touch screen you can actually use here, and yeah, and it looks like it's very similar to the A2338 model, right, the M1 model uh, MacBook Pro, but this one actually has a nice uh, foldable, bendable touch screen that goes all the way back like this, right, oh. Oh, you caught me. Okay, so yeah, it's not an actual tablet or anything MacBook, even though that would be really exciting. You can see that this is actually giving a problem because really LCD is going out. Now, uh, the customer actually said they actually came in and they said they actually got a screen replaced before. And on the screen replacement, that the hinge would actually go back and bend like this when they got it. Um, and obviously that's going to make a problem, right, especially over time or especially if like some kids, if it, especially if like a kid's using it or someone else is just not very careful because it doesn't go up straight and it really shouldn't be going all the way back like this, right? That's not a typical thing because obviously you're gonna get it worse over time. Um, another thing also to, to mention is sometimes actually the backlight will go out. Obviously the LCD has a problem, but um, if we actually made videos about this one talking about before about there was a flex gate issue with the A1706, which is like the 2016 MacBook Pro. And um, what would happen is actually the cable is located on the outside of the MacBook, and um, when you open and close it, the cable actually isn't long enough and actually makes a small little tear, and it gets worse over the time. Now, I do have one back here. It looks really similar to that one, too, but this is actually a 2017. I don't actually have the 2016 model. I'll show you the, like, the comparison for that. So this goes back like this, and this one shouldn't hold all the way back, right? It should be like, this is as far back as this one goes, right? Which is a typical regular laptop, right? So you can kind of see the difference here. <laughs> I guess we can see the difference. Yeah, but I like you see how more like much more usable this one is and this one kind of just falls back and it kind of it flaps a lot too where it's very very loose very and this should have more of a stiff hinge. Now, um these ones are pretty similar. If you actually look at the crevice here now about the flex gate, right? Um these are pretty similar actually in the same thing even though these are very similar models. They still have the cables. There are two cables on on the outside. If you look at it through here, whoops, so you can see the cable there and then there's one on the other side as well. And that's actually still the case even on the newer ones, right? Um, the newer ones still have the cable located on the outside, even though this is a... So you can still see the cables there. Actually, those are really exposed, and they shouldn't be out like that because this looks like that this was done very poorly, and the hinge was very loose in the beginning, so you probably got a defective hinge for it. And that can tear as well, and they can give you your backlight that can go out, or you can have a display go out because not only is that cable um, usually most likely for a backlight, it can also knock out the display because you're not going to see a display right if you don't have a backlight or anything, right? And a hinge like that, especially if it's just going to fall, so if I go like like that, it shouldn't just fall like that. That's a big problem. It's going to get worse over time. You're going to need a screen replacement. I'm not going to say all, bad, all screen replacements are bad, but it's usually the engineering on how these things work anyway, is, especially if the cable is located outside. If there was a problem before with the cables and the cables aren't done actually correctly here, put in correctly, how they kind of stick out a little bit more, you're probably going to get a flex gate issue anyway if it's not done professionally or not done correctly, right? Or if you don't get it done professionally, you're going to see that actually the cables will stick out and you may actually have a flex gate issue, even though a flex gate issue isn't supposed to exist on the newer MacBooks, right? So but this one will obviously have to do a full screen replacement because the panel, you can see, is also damaged as well as when you turn it on, you'll see that. Yeah, so we don't want to see that there is going to be like a problem or we, you don't want to create another problem, especially that one that hopefully shouldn't even exist in the first place. It, but still, it does really beg the question about is this pretty much still going to be a similar issue, especially if I get dirt and debris. And you can see how natural dirt and debris can fall in the crevice there. It can also make a micro tear on those uh, flex gate connections and tear them and then you're gonna have a problem anyway so it won't be where it flexes for the flex gate for this one if especially if it's done incorrectly the cable is going to pull a little bit more and it's going to get worse over time and then we will probably end up having a flex gate issue on a screen that's not supposed to have a flex gate issue or you can have the little micro tear that goes in between there and it can cut the screen hope you guys are watching just a little bit of an informative one for you guys today thanks a lot for the support you guys have been doing really recently uh, just let me know if you guys actually have um, one of these m1 macbooks if you had a problem with those cables or uh, if you had a problem with the screen replacement, or I know it's been a few years now, maybe there is a problem with the screen. After a few years, maybe just after wear and tear, have you guys got your screen replaced before? I'd be really interested to see in the comments. I wouldn't want people to be opening and closing, testing their laptops like that, because you can damage it anyway just doing that normally. So um, just let me know if you guys got a screen replaced before, if you ever had an issue with the screen, or if you actually had a recall on the 2016 one, 
Um, if you're interested in that video, we talk about more in depth about 2016 one actually had a recall on it. Check out that video. I'll probably link that in the description as well as towards the end of the video if you guys are interested in that too. But um, I always want to make you guys informed about like M1s and newer MacBook, especially if there is a problem. You shouldn't have to get, if you got a new M1 back in 2020, you would think it would go for a while, right? You shouldn't have to worry about a screen or a flexgate problem or a hinge problem ever with them, right? You spend a lot of money, you should be using that for a while. Yeah, I got all your data on there and you don't want to risk anything. So hope you guys are watching. Uh, we have lots of board repair videos, uh, data recoveries, especially on this one. Interesting stuff about like DFU mode, um, any type of short if we do fixes for them. Uh, we, we do lots of those videos. We do videos for data recovery on MacBooks too. Just get, definitely go ahead and check those ones out. Or if you just want to check out the other videos or if you just want to leave a like, man, that would really help us a lot. So see you guys next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.